Clay Travis. Now, we're not going to get into politics on this show. We get it. But they're, they are planning an outkick tour for Southeastern football. And I am super curious about this. He is going to be a part of Fox's Big Noon kickoff, which is welcoming in Bob Stoops to replace Urban Meyer. And they're going to have him on Fox and Friends on Fox News on Saturday mornings as part of this. And he's he's doing his own tour separate from Big Noon kickoff because obviously Big Noon kickoff goes to the game that they are going to show on Fox at noon, which has been highly successful, highly rated, all that good stuff. and But will never be an SEC game. It will never be a Southeast, a rarely be a Southeast game because Fox yeah. just doesn't have any teams in the Southeast. Fox has the Big Ten and the Pac-12. That's right. That's right. Now They're, they're not going to be Southeast. Right. There's no Southeast. So uh, the schedule that they are starting off with, Thursday, September 2nd, they're going to be in Knoxville for Bowling Green, Tennessee. That makes sense because Clay is a Tennessee fan. So, of course. September 4th, they're going to be in Charlotte for Georgia Clemson. He's going to be in Fayetteville for Texas, Arkansas on September 11th. And then September 18th, they'll be in Gainesville for Alabama and Florida. And he said, our goal is to pick the best game in the South every weekend. We'll continue all fall until we finish at the SEC championship game in Atlanta on December 4th. Is this... I'm I'm curious what Fox is doing here. And of course the typical Twitter people are are out there like I'm not watching this ever again because Clay Travis is on it. Da, 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 da. I, I get that. There's there's more football fans that will watch because of Clay than won't. But I'm curious if Fox is trying to they know that they cannot get in with the SEC. Is this a way for them to bring in at least some SEC viewership because they understand what a behemoth that is? Yes. I think that's the answer to this, right? Yeah, no, totally. And and if if the big noon kickoff is smart, they're gonna be they're gonna be like doing hits with Clay throughout the show. Yeah, that's that's to, their plan. Right? That's their plan. Yeah, I was about to say this can't just be him going on Fox and Friends doing it. He has to be coming in doing multiple hits a show. Um, yeah, this is their way to get SEC coverage, which is big. And also, this is their viewers. I mean, look at look at Fox ratings across the country. And when you get to the Southeast, it lights up like a, you know, you know, like Las Vegas. It's just, that's, that's their market. These people aren't dumb. They're really smart. They know what they're doing. All the people that are going to say, I'm not going to watch this. I'm going to bet have never watched Fox's big noon kickoff before in their life. Anyway, exactly. This is, this is a whole bunch of back when the kneeling happened, like 80% of my family all coming out saying, I'll never watch the NFL again. But the last time I went over to their family's house, they're and all watching it. Two years ago, no, no, I turned on like like a Colts Titans game because that's all they get on the local show, and and they were like, "Oh, was Peyton Manning playing?" I was like, "Peyton Manning hadn't been in the league in like six years." Okay, <laughs> calm the hell down. All right, like I'm never watching again, and I haven't watched in five years. Let's let's calm down. All right. Yes. Yes. Have you seen the I bus? No, it's a bus, Gary. It's no, no, a bus. No, it's a bus, but it's the interesting part is they've got a they've got a picture of Clay wearing a sleeveless shirt, but they've got it. It's like somebody else's body with his head on it, and it's like tattooed with all the SEC logos. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, but that's what Clay is. Clay's a ridiculous guy, right? He is. He is. He He's a ridiculous is. guy. He has done a very good job of building up a fan base, I will say that. It's it's interesting. Interesting. I don't know that I could do the things that he does. Cheers to him for doing them, and it continues on because Fox is giving him a platform here. So we'll we'll see, but I, I found it interesting, and I thought this has I think to be. There's a, I do think there's a market for this because yes. ESPN has ran off a lot of people, and those people love college football, and they continue to go to game day because I would tell you this game day crosses all lines, man. Like it doesn't matter if you're mad at ESPN or not, you're watching game day. Okay. Yes. Like that's just it. But game day does a great, like the people of game day do a great job of doing all the things that s- sports fans love. And they leave out most of the things that all the sports fans that have had, have had beef in the past, you know, leave out. So the stories they tell are amazing. They're just hard to compete with. Okay. Fox's opportunity to compete is is their it's not their build up show it's the ratings that they're getting on the new big noon kickoff the the noon game that's just it that's usually the second best rated game of the of the week yes 
Yes, and that's, absolutely that's hard to argue with, man. That's hard to to complain about. Yeah, I mean, people get up on Saturday. They want to go ahead and start watching football. If you can yeah, give right. them a good product at noon, at noon Eastern, then, yeah, they're going to watch. They're absolutely going to watch. And, no, it's not ideal for the Pac-12, which is, you know, who, one of the partners that Fox has. But Fox also understands there is a market at 11 a.m. Central well, Time. Guess what? Right now, not a lot of people are paying for Pac-12 football. So, do you want to take this big-ass check and play at noon? Or do you want to, you know, forego it, hope that somebody else pays you more? Exactly. Exactly. 